my sister-in-law died with breast cancer. I have two brothers with cancer. A neighbor on my right side died with cancer. A neighbor on my left side died with cancer. I, I started to write a list. I stopped because it was too many. The growing list of cancer fighters, survivors, and victims is long in the little town called Welcome in the part of Louisiana known as Cancer Alley. On this road, Sharon Levine's front yard is hard to miss. It's a fight that's in me and I'm not going to stop. Relative to the size of the country, this corridor is actually quite small, consisting of only about 100 miles from New Orleans to Baton Rouge. But according to a study in the International Journal for Environmental Research and Public Health, this area, Cancer Alley, actually consists of more than 100 plants and about a quarter of all the nation's petrochemical production. I'm pretty sure a lot of our ancestors are buried there. The retired school teacher from St. James Parish took us to the spot where a company known as Formosa wants to build a mega factory right under the welcome sign. But they are certainly not welcome here. Formosa is a plastics plant from Taiwan. The chemicals that's being used is cancer causing chemicals. Just days ago, she took her fight inside the White House. This is Sharon and her colleagues from the grassroots organization Rise St. James in D.C. Their message to the federal government and a Louisiana judge is the same message they put on these signs lining River Road. We live on death row. No Formosa. Formosa would single handedly double the levels of toxic air pollution. So this plant would equal the amount of all the other plants in that area combined? Exactly. Kim Terrell and her team at the Tulane Environmental Law Clinic looked at the Louisiana Cancer Registry. It showed that toxic air pollution here in the state's most polluted neighborhoods lead to at least 85 more cancer cases each year than anywhere else in the state. Obviously there's financial interest in, in building these plants. The DEQ is the Department of Environmental Quality. It has a, a duty to protect the health, safety, and welfare of the people. But now a judge has just killed the DEQ's air quality permits for the plastics mega factory, effectively killing the project, directly citing the work of Sharon and Rise St. James. There's something inside of me telling me to fight. We have our facts about the emissions and about ethylene oxide. Formosa told me they are looking into all legal options to get a new permit. They also say any claim that they would greatly increase toxic emissions in the area is a misrepresentation and inaccurate. In a poor neighborhood, people don't speak up. I think they're afraid of industry might try to do something to them. But Sharon spoke up and she's now calling this a David over Goliath victory. Still, there are major air quality problems here in Cancer Alley. They're not going to put Formosa here. Not two miles from my home. No way. Not as long as you're here. Not, <laughs> and I'm going to be here. I'm the reporter from that story you just watched. Since you're still here at the end of the video, you may want to subscribe. I've got more than 800 stories just like that for you to look over. In fact, YouTube is recommending this one to you right now. These are the documentaries I've done around the world. We're also on your smart TV. Look for these logos, the Weather Channel or Pattern.